So what exactly is an analyte? Well, in this video, we'll talk about what makes an analyte unique and why they're extremely important to so many different ecosystems. Now, annelids belong to the phylum Annelida, which is a large phylum comprised of segmented worms. In fact, it contains over 22,000 different species. It includes creatures such as earthworms and ragworms and lugworms and, and leeches. And they can range from just being microscopic to up to nine feet long. Now, annelids can be found in marine water, fresh water, and different terrestrial environments. And they play an important role in many ecosystems around the globe. Some of them are, are free living while Others, like, like the leech, well, they're, they're parasitic. But here's the question. What makes an annelid an annelid? Well, first of all, what combination of features distinguish an annelid from other creatures? Well, when we look at it, like many other creatures, they're, they're bilaterally symmetrical. That means their, their left side is, matches the right side. And, and all annelids are segmented at least to some extent. And each segment contains internal organs and external hair-like structures called ketai. Now, these hair-like structures, these ketai can be simple and small, as in the earthworms, or they can be complex like we see with other annelids. Annelids also have a body cavity, which is often divided by internal walls called septa. And the internal organs of the annelids are well developed, including a closed circulatory system, a digestive system, and a nervous system. And this nervous system, well, it includes a, a simple brain, which is called a ganglion, and it has a nerve ring and a nerve cord inside of it. Now, annelids lack a formal respiratory system. They have no lungs. But instead, respiration in annelids occurs primarily through their skin. And there are even some species that actually have specialized gills that allow them to breathe. Now, many annelids move by peristalsis, or waves of contractions that move along the body. It would be almost like how food moves down through your throat, but instead of food being pushed through it, it's, it's a worm moving across the ground. Now, check out this earthworm here as it moves by peristalsis. Some annelids have even have small limbs to help them crawl or swim. FYI for your information. The largest earthworm in the world may be the giant Gippsland earthworm. Mm -hmm. This earthworm species occurs only in about a 150 square mile area in southern Australia. On average, they're about three feet long and three quarters of an inch in diameter and weigh almost half a pound. However, they have seen them get up to almost 10 feet. Now, annelids includes creatures such as the ones called polychaetes and leeches. Let's take a quick look at some different types of annelids and what they look like. Now let's, take, now let's talk about annelid ecology and how they interact with the environment around them. As mentioned earlier, they can be found in marine and fresh water and terrestrial environments. And their feeding habits, it ranges from a slow moving filter feeder 
to actually an active predator. They also have a significant impact on their environments. And probably the most significant ecological role played by annelids is the reworking of soil. And the way they do this, they do this by burrowing and also by eating and excreting large quantities of soil through their bodies, which fertilize it, makes it rich. And the burrows also loosen up the soil so that oxygen and water can move through the soil more easily. So both surface and burrowing worms help accelerate the breakdown of organic matter. In fact, some soils may harbor 50 to 500 earthworms per square meter. That's how necessary they are. So, now how do annelids and humans interact? Since we know they have an impact on soil, well naturally then they're extremely important to farming. And to be honest, they aren't too bad at helping you catch fish either. Now let's talk a second about leeches. Now historically, people have used leeches for the medical practice of bloodletting and while that's no longer a modern practice, more recently leeches have been used to assist in things such as microsurgery and the saliva has actually provided ingredients to several different types of medications including ones that are meant to prevent blood from clotting. So there, now you know a bit more about the importance and the uniqueness of the annelids and what makes them annelids and how they affect the world around us. And if you've enjoyed this video, stay tuned as we talk about the next major animal phylum, Mollusca. And don't forget, click subscribe and the bell to be notified for our next videos and to see what we have coming up. So y'all have a good one.